uh, to Pakistan. And I told my wife that I will go, and obviously, you know, that's what wives are doing. <laughs> yeah. They, they, they are supposed to be worried. Uh, so, exactly. so she yeah. asked that, that, you know, is it safe? I said, yes, yes, of course, oh. it's safe, it's Karachi. <laughs> I've not been anything, anything uh, more thought in that. Uh -huh. So, you know, honestly, like, like minutes after that phrase, it's all okay, uh, there was a breaking news from Karachi which was, it was a car bomb. Oh my God. And I was thinking, okay, like, mm, oh. I think my, my trip was just canceled by my wife. Oh my God. But, but that, that kind of created you know, the basic assumption when you land at mm. Karachi. And that time, this is kind of funny story, but there was only one Norwegian and myself, mm -hmm. like, like two blondes. Yeah. And we were first timers both. Uh, yeah. And so, so it started like that and it was, it was June, so it was, very very hot. I can imagine. Degrees, wow. Humidity, like whatever levels. Like a sauna uh, in Finland. Yeah, like Swedish sauna, as okay, we say, not, like, like yeah. even milder. <laughs> but but the uh, but still, I you know I got back. Yeah. And and for me the big uh, big thing was that I realized that my picture of Pakistan, which was mainly based on the international media. Mm was very, very far away from the reality that actually yeah. I faced in, in Karachi. Exactly. And then after that first experience, I mean, now you've been coming back so many times that you could say that Pakistan definitely holds a special place for you sure. in your heart. Yes. What, what was the reason? Like, why was Pakistan so fascinating for you no, that you wanted to come back? First of all, it was this picture that, you know, foreigners we, we very often have. And yeah. then you realize that, oh, okay, this is actually very exactly. different. Exactly. And that makes it so fascinating, it, right? Exactly. Yeah. And, and another thing was, for me, was that, you know, the staff at a hotel, mm -hmm. uh, obviously there were not so many foreigners at the time. So, like in five minutes, they all knew me by name. Right. And this makes me, oh, this is a pretty good service. 